Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sailwind. We are here in Happy Bay, which is actually north of where we're going. We're going to go to the Dragon Cliffs. In our previous episode, we had grabbed a load of cargo from, uh, from Fort Astrin. Some of it bound for here, which is Happy Bay, on the way to the Dragon Cliffs. Two missions needed to come here. Three missions of extra cargo going to Dragon Cliffs. I have since gotten another mission and loaded the boat with everything for the other mission. So now we have five full missions going to Dragon Cliffs. In fact, our drop off there, uh, we've gained 9,400 9, gold. Our drop off there is going to get. 4,500, about 9,000, uh, about 13,500, uh, 14, 15,000, 16,000 gold or so. When we reach the location, here's the course we need to make. Basically, uh, south, southeast until we get to between longitude four and five and then just do south. Should be pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, the wind is directly at our face, although not quite directly at our face. We could do a slow sail forward. Maybe with just the jib. Let's try it. And if we end up just trapped in irons, which is a fancy way of saying that we're are, we're headed directly into the wind, we're not making any progress. If that happens, we'll just um, back up. Okay, so the jib sail is fully out. I'm gonna tighten down. Oh yeah, we're getting some pull. That's good. Uh, would be this one then for the. For the spanker? Yeah. And we can tighten the spanker up too. Need to be a little bit careful because we're going to get turning forces off this spanker, but we're just sailing out this way. <clears throat> I'm a little surprised the wind came around at all. Like when I parked here, <laughs> we were directly into the wind. Okay, south by southeast it is. Check on the wind. Um... Oftentimes, when you just let out these lines, the, the sail sort of, especially when you're running before the wind, the sail just fixes itself. This one didn't, though. Actually, want to pull counter pull this one a little bit because it's gone too far. Oh, no, it hasn't. So the, the one up front hasn't gone far enough. There we go. Make sure this winch is loosened all the way. Yep. And this one is tightened all the way. Okay, nice early morning departure.
I've used the spanker to sort of set myself up so that it has enough wind pressure to neutralize any turning tendencies of the jib, which is doing a good job of providing a lot of primary power right now because of just how, you know, we're close hauled. All right, we're in the pre-dawn hours here finally. So we can go ahead and start waking up a little bit. I'm going to just check my heading. My heading is right on the money. I'm going to take a peek at the wind socks. Still pretty close hauled. So don't expect to be breaking any speed records. But while it's nice and early and we have the time and impetus to do it, and not too hungry for the fact, let's go ahead and get our next day's worth of fish fish. Fishing, fishing. Coming up on 11 o'clock. Don't actually need to worry about it until about 11.30, but maybe 11.15 or so, I'll just make sure I'm all set up. And facing this way, there's actually a pretty clever setup we can use for our sighting. Uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and set up now. So this railing right here is super useful. We're getting this done. Like so. Now we're just waiting for... So we're at 34 la latitude. Between 35 and 34. I'm sort of expect if we're if we're lined up with dragon cliffs, we'd uh, see 11:20 on the clock. Every four degrees of difference, meaning one degree of latitude, five degrees of difference would give us 11:20. So, but I don't I don't believe we're there yet. We still need to head more eastward. So I expect the time to be closer to 12 o'clock. Just all ways of double checking my assumptions. So that I don't misnavigate and get myself lost. So there's 1220. We know we're not, not there. Get out of the way, Shadow. You're bothering me. All right. Waiting for the Nomon to get right on top of noon. There it is. 12.15. I'm sorry. 11.45. So 11.45, uh, that's 15 minutes of difference. We can call it 16 minutes of difference for easy rounding, um, <clears throat> which means we're at three degrees longitude. So look on our map. Once again, let's take a look at our latitude. 34. 34 latitude. And three longitude. Uh, I'm sorry. For longitude. So yeah, we've headed the right direction, south southeast. So far, so good on the navigation. There's 1140, which would be latitude four, uh, five. Hey. Yeah, we're definitely latitude four or longitude four. No question about that anymore. Longitude four. So longitude four, latitude, what we're we calling that, 33. Longitude 33. Sorry, latitude 33, longitude 4. 
means we're dead on course. Continue south, southeast. I do want to rearrange back here, put another table down so I have a place to put my cooked fish or maybe some shelves. Nah, another table. Um, <clears throat> you know, I got all the firewood over here, fishing pole stuff over here. I could probably do two and two, like two boxes of that and two boxes of that. Two boxes of hooks, two boxes of firewood. Be more than happy with that. Consolidate that down a little bit. Also, the stove's not going to be right here. Maybe. Maybe uh, I just put the stove... Uh, maybe I put the other stove right here. That wouldn't be so bad. So this trip has gone a lot faster, even though we've been sailing so close to all. Partly because it's much shorter, but we're like... We're more than halfway between Happy Bay and Dragon Cliffs at this point. Time to light up, get some food. Uh, actually, that's a big meal. Let's eat this one. I know that a well-prepared uh, eel is like three quarters of a bar or something. It's a lot of food value. Let's go ahead and top off on water here. Uh, and... Doing fine in the barrels of water. Check our compass heading. And when I get myself headed the right direction, I am going to unfurl everything. No sense in holding back right now. We got calmer winds. So we're going to use it all for forward power. The wind is picking up really loud again, so I got to reef these sails for the night. Curious to know what my speed is. For that matter, what's the wind looking like? Oh yeah, we want to let this thing buck. Don't check our speed now, we're going slow. Uh, is my heading right? More or less. Can't wait for my noontime sighting. I think I see land. Do I see land out there? Very, very distant. Just a little, little peak of land. But we're now broad beam. On the wind. More or less. That one was called Rooftops. Check my wind, it looks like I've drifted off course. Nope, I haven't. The wind is just plain more friendly. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, we're gonna pull this. Okay, look at the thing. This sailing position is broad reach. So now we are broad reach. Which pretty much means that um, this uh, not spinnaker spanker is doing us no good at all so out of here spanker hey sim editor here if you're enjoying these videos please consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that bell to receive notifications when videos like these come out. Thanks! We're very gradually drifting off course a smidge. Uh, that is... 
a pull to port, which means this thing can be loosened up. Or just loosen it all the way out. That's fine. Where did my compass go? Did I put my compass down? Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me while I just switch out devices. I kind of, I'm kind of hoping that the game developer makes like a compass in a box like this that can be mounted. That'd be really cool just to have one boom right there. Look at this bright green emerald sea. I wonder if the uh, developer made the transition a little more subtle, like uh, release one spanker. My intent is to be running pretty darn close hauled through the night. So. I'm just getting my ship configured for that. That way I can be guaranteed more or less not to crash into Newport. Running aground is not my idea of the greatest time. Now, check for turning tendencies. A very slight tendency to turn to starboard means either this isn't tight enough. One, two, three, four. Or the spanker is too loose. Straight into the wheel. Watch on the compass, watch on the wheel. Because the wheel is going to tell me what's, what the ship's kind of wanting to do as well. That looks pretty okay. A lovely evening of rest. That's yeah, a good thing we're running, oh, we're running close hauled on these sails because it looks like the wind has come up again. When I go up to observation, ooh, nice. Okay, let's uh, start taking a look here at some bearings. So, northwest, <clears throat> northwest to Newport. I'm assuming that's Newport. Uh, an island over there is south southeast. what would be south southeast of us could be crab beach probably not could be the dragon cliffs actually um i can confirm that if i'm between serpent isle so i'd expect if if i'm between newport and serpent isle newport was northeast northeast or was it northwest newport was northeast okay aha and that is definitely Serpent Isle because it's southwest. Okay. A little dead reckoning to figure out where we are. Uh, which means that... <clears throat> that's Dragon Cliffs right there. South-southeast from us. That will actually make for some easier sailing. Oh, especially there's a storm right there. Let's bear off towards south southeast. A lot of this ship, this journey from Happy Bay to Dragon Cliffs was spent without full sail because of various reasons. Storms, high wind, you name it. 
We can't put uh we can't put the mainsails down at this point. All we can do is let out the spanker and let out the the uh, jib. And let this wind just keep us going, I guess. We got ourselves rolling right through a proper storm. I had a spyglass. I believe the entrance is more this direction. Yep. Yeah, I can just make out the arch from here. All right, we are coming in. We might be able to make it before sundown. Maybe not. Well, maybe. Let's just light up. Let's light up everything. Get in there. Make it as bright around here as possible. Here we come, Dragon Cliffs. I can conceivably mount a lantern or two up there. Ooh, what the heck was that? Oh, we're coming up with a breakwater. Well, we're here, sort of. But I'm not going to actually dock at night. <clears throat> I'm just going to drop anchor. To do the rest in the morning. Uh, water. And this barrel should be empty. Okay. In the morning, we actually park. So I've got the ship positioned more or less where I want it. There's the uh, tradie boys right there. So let's go ahead and get uh, everything offloaded. So while we're unloading cargo here, I'll just take a recap of what we did over the last two episodes of Let's Play Sailwind. We started off with a brand new brig in Fort Astrin, loaded it up with all the supplies we needed for the trip to Happy Bay and then continuing on to the Dragon Cliffs. Took on a bunch of missions, some for Happy Bay and some for Dragon Cliffs. Once we made that journey south-southeast to Happy Bay, we unloaded their cargo for there, filled the ship up with the rest of the missions needed to make Dragon Cliffs, and set out once again. After a little sailing south-southeast, we find ourselves here at Dragon Cliffs, where we end the video. So until next time, I'm Sim Gamer. The game has been Sailwind. Take care. Goodbye!